We're just taking it one day at a time, man. That's all. That's all you can do now. Can't rush nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm better off at things I, I can't see. I like the unexpected. You feel what I'm saying? Because when you look forward to something, it's easy for shit to change. And I don't like being let down. So I don't never, you know, get my hopes up by nothing. So just take it one day at a time. And, you know, understand that this is real life. This ain't no, this ain't no movie. This ain't no Netflix series. This shit is real life. So anything change. At any time, so just stay up, man. Get your minds right, man. See the waves, bad waves. Get close up on that. If you don't see them, don't even worry about it. It's cool. I see them. I feel them. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. yeah. Everything good, man. Everything good. One day at a time, man. One day at a time. Hey man, it's Amy. I'm trying to get ready. Recent the building. You're in the building. You are no small. Talk to him. Dougie Hendricks. Dougie Hendricks. Who is Dougie Hendricks, Carolina? Dougie Hendricks. Just. You say Dougie, just make sure you say Hendricks. You gotta say the Dougie with the Hendricks. I just like how that sound again. Dougie Hendricks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love that. I love that. Who's that? Well, Dougie Hendricks. Yeah. Yeah. Originally from Wilmington, North Carolina, but I grew up in Florence, South Carolina. So hey. Shout out to North Carolina. Shout out to the Carolina. You from the Carolina, I rock with you, family. The only, yeah, that's the blessed stage of my man Dougie tonight. I jumped on a record for him, come on. Yeah, yeah. And I don't really jump on records. I jump on the record if I feel you got ambition, if I feel that you got drive, yeah. if I feel that you gonna hold your own yeah. out here in this industry. Yeah. Now this is my first time meeting him tonight. And I sat here and I watched this show and I am fucking amazed because he's a great entertainer. Support the record. Everybody purchase the record. Purchase it. Where you at? You left me out here? Everybody make sure you support. It's your hometown. It's your artist. You want to support him. Make sure you beat the record. Make sure you make sure y'all want to see him win. Make some noise for my man, Dougie. Mm -hmm. How the hell you get that song with Trinity? <laughs> and how much did you teach it? Um, hmm. Trina. I ain't gonna speak on prices, but um, actually, to be honest, completely honest, um, my ex-manager, his name is Zoe Dupree. He's a celebrity stylist from out of sorry. So he knew Trina's manager. I don't know if he paid anything, actually. I just know I recorded the song and he had it in his possession. And like two weeks later, I was in the studio and they started playing it for me. I didn't even know. She kind of like put her verse on it. And um, then I met her. She had a show in Charlotte. And my first conversation wasn't even a conversation. We spoke for months together. And she said, I really love your voice. And then I brought her to Florence, South Carolina. And we had a show together. And she's we real good, man. She's real cool, man. She real cool, man. So, um, yeah, it kind of worked out itself. I, and I met Zoe at CIAA, singing to myself in the back seat. He kind of turned around and was like, who are you? And I kind of gave him a stiff arm because I don't really talk to people. I ain't really nice. But then he just started offering his assistance and helping me out with photo shoots and interviews. And I did my first real video through him. So he really set everything up for me. So yeah, it was cool because that's, that's always something I'm going to have. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love. Uh, The things you stopped those, they hating on me, I ain't stopped no. I'm looking at her from the top though, it see all I wanted was some motherfucking money. I thought you heard it from the baddest one. I can hold sense of hickers on your next to me and my baby be having fun. Oh, you think you hard cause you got a gun? Telling people that you ain't the one little bit coma, you ain't scared nothing. I think you should just let it go. Lifetime, lifetime, lifetime. All I want is some money. I need that shit up. That last line, last line, last line.
that she macaroni. You get the picture. Cause I remember when I'm there, I woke up in the bed and I act like I had a mission. When you was performing in front of um Zaytoven, how did that make you feel? Like, were you nervous or you like, you were just like, shit? Um, no, that, that that's funny because I met um, Zay Tobin. He had like a listening party in, um, I think it was Columbia, South Carolina. And he um, debuted um, Lil Yachty and um, Lil Key's new track. And after that, he was asking people for flash drives to hear their music and I kind of threw my hand up and was like nah fuck that like let's just spit acapella you know what I'm saying and um I ain't really scared to do nothing like that you know because that's something I really want to do like I really want to get noticed by you know a, a, a legend in the industry so anytime I'm in a position to you know show myself that's what I'm gonna do so you know nah moments like that I just I'll be I'll be waiting for stuff like that so you know, I didn't turn out for his, um, I mean, excuse me, I didn't expect for his reaction to be like that, but uh, it, it was pretty cool. Um, at the end of it, I actually um, consulted with him a little bit and um, um, got some contact information from him and his people, and we're supposed to be meeting um, sometime in Atlanta. As in our, in the future, as far as artists, producers, anybody, who do you feel? Who, who, who would you want to work with? Like, if you get put on, who would you go to? Like, as a features person? and doing songs? Yeah, all that. Okay. Um, definitely want to beat. I just want to work with Zaytoven, period. Zay, number one. Um, That's crazy. I got an interview with Zay. Word. Do that. So you can plug me in too. Okay. All right, baby. But um, Zay, um, I want to work with Neo. I heard he's recording, and you know he does music too. But um, and he's writing songs. And I never really wanted nobody to write a song for me, but I think I let Neo write a song for me. So I want to work with him. Um, DJ Cali. I just want him to scream on one of my tracks one time, and then I'll be good. I'll be cool from there. As far as rappers, uh, I want to work with J. Cole and um, I don't know, it's not really many rappers. Any poetic rapper, really. J. Cole and Kendrick. I really want one of them on my song and Rick Ross. Rick Ross? Yeah. I was just sitting here screaming all these Rick Ross lines and everything. Yeah, man, because they talk about real shit, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to make shit like that. Like, people can really feel it, not just bob their head because the beat good. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So. What is your most popular song right now? To me? Mm -hmm. um, well, I haven't put out a CD or anything in like two years. But as of a song that's already out, um, I have to say ABC. I redid the ABCs. Um, yeah, they eating that up right now. So, so it's crazy because a lot of I'm a big critic of my music. Like, I don't like a lot of my songs after I hear them three times. But you know, people snap me every day and tag me and stuff, make little fan videos and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it just reassures me. Okay, well, regardless if I like it, I'm just one person, you know. But a lot of people do rock with it so i've been hearing a lot about abc right you as an r&b singer who inspires you mm. um if i can say do i have a, a a number or just name whoever just name whoever inspires you. just musically music, not music. not personally none of that. okay yeah. r kelly R. Kelly, man. R. Kelly, um, Joe, Omarion, um, Prince, um, and Jill Scott. Oh, I hope you got that on camera. Little Tito. 
But yeah, um, anything like, you know, I like I like jazzy stuff, man. I like to relax, so that's just my type of music. Is you, got, just, you, got, you got a favorite jazz artist? Um, no, actually, I don't. I just, I don't know what the, if, if Neo Soul or, I'm sure there are two different genres, Neo Soul and jazz, but I feel like they're really the same to me. You know what I'm saying? Anything yeah. that you can just vibe to or ride in the car, take a shower, or anything that just relaxes you, like anything like that, I'm attracted to. So, yeah. All right, um, where do you see yourself going with your, uh, your music career? Um, shoot, I have dreams all the time of being in front of a billion people and at the Grammys and all that other stuff. But really, I just want to get to a point, bro, where I'm just stable. And if, if my daughter point at something in the store, I can afford to buy it, you know? That's just it. I'm, I'm not saying I'm doing it for the money, but I just want to get to a point where I can take care of my whole family. Like, that's a goal of mine. Make sure everybody's great in my family, you know what I'm saying? Even though me and my family ain't that close, but I'm happy making other people happy and making sure other people straight. So I just want to get to a point where I ain't got to do no dumb shit for no money. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, people enjoying my music, you know, that's that's just a bonus. You know? All right. What you want to know? Anything? Ask away. All right. So my first question for you is, when you do your first tour, mm -hmm. what are the top places that you would like to go and watch? Mm, first global tour. Global tour. I've had a few locals. Yeah, you had locals, but you... Now you're expanding. Okay. okay. Let me see. I would want to go to Toronto. That's a good place. I don't know why. I just see a lot about Toronto, so I would want to stop by there, get some of that foreign love. You know what I'm saying? Um, Colorado, because the weed is legal. And um, I want to be able to smoke a blunt on a big stage, and I got to worry about nothing afterwards. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think I want to do Vegas, too. Vegas and, Vegas and Vegas. I want to do a lot of um, elegant stuff. I used to rap and stuff, but I'm, I'm focused more kind of like on the singing, tuxedos, and high heels, and wine. And right. I want to, you know, branch out into that into that field. So yeah, Colorado, Las Vegas, and um, Toronto. Yeah, so most right. definitely. The gang got season junior with me. Think I'm the freshest in the game, no I influence niggas. And girl, you make me want the same like we Beyonce Jiggers. Trying to pull up with them things that they gon' smoke with niggas. Hey, I got some baddies out in Cali that'll pop and drop it. The Dougie motherfucking Hendrix I'm a I've been locked up two months eating bullshit. So, I'm such a fan of real food right now. That shit there is ridiculous, the stuff they feed people. Can't even name it. Really. It's crazy, it's such a contradiction on um, jail. Like you hear people say, oh well, they get the luxury of this, this, and this, they ain't gotta worry about this, this, and this. You paying our tax dollars for this, this, and this, but then they feeding y'all bullshit, you know what I'm saying? That shit is legal slavery. So. And they have like the authority to treat you how they want, do you know, what they want. So it's like you can't beat them in there, you just got to deal with it, whatever. So I think that's what kind of taught me about real life, period. Because like, when you were back there, you have no choice but to get up at this time, eat at this time, watch TV at this time. So it teaches you responsibility and a schedule. So I took a lot of shit I got from being locked up and applied it to real life. And it teaches you not to like, you know, take things for granted, man. Cause so man, to do that. man, I'm telling you, until you can't. That's definitely one of the things I learned overseas being without the average things that I had. Like, there's a lot of stuff that they had that I ain't never had or that I went without. You know what I'm saying? I had to pay for Wi Fi. If I wanted to use Wi Fi, it was a monthly bill, mm -hmm. about $14 a month. It's cheap, but it's not the best Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. But that's another time, another story. Just different places, stuff. different cases. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. So. Another question I have is, what advice would you give a young person that eventually wants to get into the music? Um, you just gotta be consistent, I guess, because 
I know a lot of people that make music, a lot of young people, and, you know, they want to do songs with me and, and ask me how can they, you know, perform in a club or can you help me get this DJ, this music, and and my my normal r response is, bro, like, you, you got to go do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had people, you know, quote unquote help me, but at the same time, I feel like they just saw how talented I was when I was young, so they told me, oh yeah, come with me and, you know, I'm going to show you the ropes, you know, really they knew my worth and that's why they had me around, but I still took that, even when you're being used, you take whatever you can learn from that situation, so, um, I really did everything myself, like I started sending DJs my music and tagging them and stuff on social media over and over. All it takes is for somebody to press play and to hear it. And if you, if you sound good, somebody's going to relate to it and people will start helping you. You know what I'm saying? So people got to stop. Don't be lazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stick your mind to whatever you desire and go for it. Like, record. Don't just record. I know a lot of people that just record. Like, go to the studio every week and talk about it on Facebook, post it on YouTube, and then that's it. Like, y'all ain't really trying to market it. You're not really shooting videos or, or, or shooting different videos with different videographers. Some people use the same guy, same quality, you know. Get out your comfort zone and just try. Do music contests and talent shows. In high school, I was in, in the choir. In elementary, I was in the choir. Then I went to church sometimes, not as much as I should have, but I went and... So I just took everything that I've learned and even being locked up and being around some of the most talented singers ever. You know, they got life in prison, but they still singing and got the abundance to, you know, keep going. So just get up and do something new every day. Send your music to DJs. Um, it's not just about promoting on your Facebook every day because the same people going to see it every day. You know what I'm saying? You got to print out cards. Go to Office Depot. You can get like 100 business cards for like 25 bucks. Go to a college, pass them out, get a little graphic made with your, your face and your social media and I don't know, R&B singer, I have one, you know, promote yourself and you know, don't be easily um accessible, like don't just be going out every weekend and if people see you all the time, they're not having a time to become a fan of you, like, because they know oh, I can go here and see him. I can go to this club, or I can go to this here, here, you know. So sometimes you gotta isolate yourself and build yourself as long as your your brand. Like you have to build that. So stay low key, stay consistent, and don't look for a handout because these days that's that's over with. Cause I don't mean to be anti. Okay. It's just what I've been through makes me anti. Okay. So. You know. With that being said, what are two of the most difficult decisions you had to make? One, being an artist, and one, becoming an artist. Um, one, being an artist. Stop chasing women. Okay. Um, For sure. I had, a, I had a big problem with that. Chasing Anybody? Women. Yeah, so... Once I stopped that, um, and then I started learning how to be consistent with that, because I'm good for starting shit and not finishing it, so I started training myself how to focus on okay. things. So. Check this. How did you stop being... How did you How did you take initiative to that step? Put it that way. Um, what made you realize that Getting you... locked up. Okay. Going to jail, going to different jails, you know? Okay. It's different from when you doing time and when you doing time in different counties and you got to change your jumpsuit three, four, five, six different times. And, right. you know, it's just, it's just a different situation. So I think that just kind of changed my mind by itself about taking things more seriously. You know what I'm saying? So, because you can have your freedom right now, tomorrow is gone. So, you know, you got to take advantage of that. Exactly. Exactly. So, tell me this. In that sense, what motivates and inspires you to keep going? 
um, my kids, okay. my babies. For yeah. sure. I got a four year old daughter, five year old son, and um, I ain't really close to my people like that, like my mom and my dad. So I just want us to have a better relationship, I guess. So that's really why I'm doing this, though. You know, it ain't like for the money, but I just want to be able to give my kids what they want, you know right. what I'm saying? And make sure they in a good situation, they in a good space. So, yeah, that's that's really it. Okay. So, cool. With that being said, what could you, what could you do now that'll help you affect the people you want to affect in your music? Um, I guess just keep talking about what I'm going through. Okay. You know, because that's all I really know how to do. Right. Is to speak on what I deal with what I see, what I saw, what I've said, what I've heard. And, you know, if I can help somebody that relates to me, you know, then I I did what I wanted to do. You know, I exactly. sent I sent a message. So that's that's really it. As long as somebody feel me, I ain't spitting nothing fake. I ain't capping in my rap. You know what I'm saying? When I sing, I sing for real. So I'm going to just keep it straightforward at all times. Yeah, that really it. I feel that. I feel that. Mm -hmm. So... At the end of the day, what could you leave with somebody that's going to help them tomorrow with what they got going on? Whether it's a rap career or a singing career or a book career. You know what I'm saying? Um, what would you uh, encourage them right now? I would say uh, a big thing for me is like not listening to everybody's opinions. Okay. Because um, a lot of people going to have a lot of opinions and you know, because people just like to flex their little muscle. Right. Or, or then you got the people that like to act like they know what's going on, but really they just want to be heard. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, I mean, it took me a while to tell myself, you know, little things like your hands. I mean, you can sing. and You know, you got to be your, your, your own fan, too, your own supporter. Right. So put your mind on something and tell yourself, I can accomplish this. And... Stop being easily astray, like, stop being so easily moved, you know? Because right. things take us all focused very easily. Easy. So, you got to train yourself how to just stay focused, man, because people are really short-minded. And, you know, once you get past that, I feel like you can get past anything. Anything. Hey, man, listen, I appreciate that. I appreciate your yeah. gym. <laughs> I yeah, appreciate man. you coming through. You, hey, dig, you was digging deep. Go digging ahead deep. and check out my man's. What you waiting on? Right, right here, yeah, QT yeah. with Sam. Got my man Dougie in the building. You should put that on a shirt. Oh, for sure. QT with Sam. Hey. I like that. Hey, we'll, we'll talk Dougie. about that. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Y'all ready for that. Yeah. Hey, go subscribe right now. <laughs> for right. sure. But yeah. That was good. That was good. I like that. Oh, yeah, like Try to act like I'm not like pressed. Then I stare at your chest. Yeah. Then I forgot what I was upset about. I have to release it. Yeah. Like two years, but I tell him, with you the first day we met. You, know. you keep hey, asking if I'm really? sure I know they exactly they how I feel. Doesn't mean it. Doesn't mean it. That's my Facebook. That's my. Snap. Hey, you heard it. And Doug Hendricks. Instagram. Going live. Carolina Doug Hendricks. Carolina Doug Hendricks. Really. Carolina, Doug Hendricks. Really. Carolina, Doug Hendricks. So, yeah. Follow that right now. Add like it's a game, but it's not. My love. Text it. You know. Thanks so much. Go your mind. This is what I wanted to do. Make sure you want to be in the room. Every time that I need. From you. You took my gun off safety. Such a roller coaster ride, so amazing. And I put it on my kids that no one can take my mind off you.
acting like you don't know, and I'm gonna choke your ass. Oh, nah, I mean, not literally, but, but literally. <laughs> yeah, so it's true by the way that you move and the way you walk. Even the way you talk. Damn, I forgot what you was yapping about, dog. Young beauty throws me off. Give what you want from me, no matter the cost. You keep asking if I'm sure I know exactly how I feel. I never felt this way before, that's how I know it's real. And no, it ain't the alcohol, the Henny bottle seals. But I'm about to pop it open just to give me a feel. My love gets heavy You know that you're my baby Girl, you're mine, that's facts And I won't get lazy You gon' know what time it is now. Every time no that I depart from you I'm real life crazy Take one. You took yeah. my gun off safe such a roller coaster ride so amazing and i put it on my kids that no one can take my mind off you 